Good afternoon. My name is Darnell Melvin, and I'm the Special Collections and Archives Metadata Librarian and Associate Professor at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. In today's presentation, I introduce a preliminary study which focuses on techniques used to query large public knowledge graphs for data analytics. More specifically, this research investigates sexual identity and gender representation within contributions made by participants of the Program for Cooperative Cataloging's Wikidata Pilot. By exploring sex and gender representation within public knowledge graphs, we are presented with an opportunity to better understand societal dynamics through an inclusive lens that transcends traditional gender norms. With the vast amount of structured data available on Wikidata, cultural heritage communities are presented with an opportunity to explore the subject in new and insightful ways. Through this innovative approach, we seek to shed light on the complexities of gender and pave the way for future research and the exploration in this critical area. Now, let's turn our attention to the PCC Wikidata pilot. In 2020, the PCC Task Group on Identity Management for the Name Authority Cooperative Program, or NACO, announced the Wikidata pilot, which ran from September 2020 through December 2021. During this pilot, 75 PCC member organizations and non-members experimented with identity management by contributing library collection data to Wikidata. Each participating organization contributed at its own pace with projects focusing on diverse themes, often highlighting regional history from archival collections, oral histories, and local notable figures. Our research method introduces three Sparkle queries. The first, we need to generate a list of pilot participants. The second, count human contributions, and then third, we count human contributions with sex or gender values assigned. This investigation began by generating a list of queue numbers representing the project pages of the pilot participants to assess their contributions. Our first query focused on the Wikidata item, Wikiproject PCC Wikidata Pilot, or Q102-157715. This query selects objects based on the property has part, or P527. The resulting list comprises of 38 pilot pages. However, it should be noted that not all participants created project pages. The results were saved for later use. Next, the total human contributions by pilot participants were counted. This Sparkle query selects humans matching the property on focus list of Wikimedia project, or P5008, where each participant's object value is represented. During the pilot, items created or edited were tagged with this property to indicate relevance to a Wikimedia project. The queue numbers obtained from the first query were then substituted into a list of values nested within this query. The resulting data was then recorded for analysis. Then we counted the number of human contributions with the value assigned for the property sex or gender by PCC participant. This query selects humans matching on the focus list of Wikimedia projects identified as humans, and having a date of birth value. The date of birth value was then filtered for dates equal to or greater than January 1st, 1950, to ensure that the results reflected the current population and minimize inclusion of historical figures. An additional filter was used to exclude blank nodes. Additionally, the results were grouped by sex or gender, and ordered by number in descending order. 
Our preliminary results revealed that the total number of human contributions by pilot participants surveyed was 7, uh, 78,098 items, out of which 35,214 of them, or 45.09%, did not have a sex or gender value assigned to the P21. The results also reveal that the distribution of sex or gender assignment among pilot contributions leaned heavily towards sexual identities with 37,794 items assigned male and 5,086 items assigned female. Well, this leads us to our discussion. The lack of sex or gender assignments in this subset aligned with previous studies on Wikidata gender representation, including Klein, 2016, and Zhang, 2021. However, despite efforts to address the gender gap, there are two scenarios may explain the high percentage of omission for sex and gender property values. Firstly, Non-binary individuals may be underrepresented or unidentified due to identity misrepresentation, privacy, or safety concerns. As noted in Thomas and Melvin and Lampert. Thirdly, conversations leading up to the 22nd PCC Recommendation to omit gender information from name authority records may also have influences the results. Some future work that we may want to expand upon this research includes looking at a wider subset of the data and also including modifying our Sparkle queries to look at individual organizations' contributions. On that note, this is the end of the presentation.